Thank you. I'd like to introduce our principal, Dr. Hilary McCauley. Well, firstly, I'd like to welcome you to the Year 9 Celebration of Achievement evening. Um, and it's an event which marks the culmination of the second year, or third year actually rather, of these young people's lives here at uh, Harris City Academy Crystal Palace. As I said to the students here in my first assembly, which was only 10 weeks ago, this academy is an incredible place of opportunity. And this evening, is a formal opportunity for you to be recognized for seizing that opportunity and to be duly rewarded for it. Whether it be recognition of the staff for your effort or for your achievement or for the special talent that you may have. And I know that you have been told many times what is expected of you and what you're capable of achieving. Your teachers have worked tirelessly with you to ensure that you achieve your potential. And your parents, very importantly, and your carers have worked with us to ensure that you get here on time, that you make the most of your opportunities here at the Academy. And the fact that you're actually sitting here this evening as students who I am proud to say are part of what makes Harris City Academy Crystal Palace very special. So let's move on with the evening. Hello, and welcome to Year 9 COA. I am Teresa Macharia. And I'm Nicholas Stevenson. We will be your hosts for tonight. So far, the majority of us have a good year, three years at Harris Crystal Palace, which means that we all have had our fair shares of experiences. Looking back, I think we speak for everyone when we say Year 9 has been a roller coaster of a year, from starting our GCSEs to achieving goals that we never thought we could. I remember the first day I started Year 9 and was feeling excited, worried, and proud all at the same time. I was excited because it was a start to a new year, new skills, and possibly even new friends. I was worried because I knew that this year required way more focus, attention, and hard work than the first two, and was not sure if I'd be able to cope. However, I was proud. I was proud because I'd made it this far and was ready to go even further. Year nine has been a brilliant year for me. I'm achieving goals I never thought I would, performing more than ever before and enjoying the benefits of hard work. GCSE so far have been great, mainly because of all the excellent teachers that have been there supporting me every step of the way. Starting off, I think I can say that I'm pleased that I've made it this far in Harris, being that academically I haven't been the best that I know I can be, and I can see my mum agreeing with me there. <laughs> However, once I realized that you only have this one opportunity, I started to really try my best to achieve what I know I'm capable of. I'm not, I'm not going to rejoice to you about all my successes in the past because the truth is I don't have that many. Uh, um, nevertheless, most of my successes were from music. Music for me is a way that I can express myself easily through and I'm sure everyone in year nine can achieve if you really committed to do something. Stay strong year nine. Thank you. Now we will have a student performance of Break Even by the Script. Things happen for a reason. But nobody. 
Life's work's gonna stop the bleeding She's moved on while I'm still grieving Cause when a heart breaks, no, it don't break even Even, no What am I supposed to do when the best part of me was always you And what am I supposed to say when I'm all choked up that you're okay I'm falling to pieces I'm falling to pieces I'm falling to pieces I'm falling to pieces Oh, you got his heart in my heart and none of the pain You took your suitcase, I took the blame Now I'm trying to make sense of all it over means Oh, cause you left me with no love and no love to my name Still alive, but I'm barely breathing Just praying to a God that I don't believe in Cause I got time while she got freedom Cause when a heart breaks, no, it don't break even Even, no What am I supposed to do when the best part of me was always you and what am I supposed to say when I'm all choked up and you're okay? I'm falling to pieces. I'm falling to pieces. I'm falling to pieces. I'm falling to pieces. This year's Tutor of the Year goes to a student who has an excellent record of attendance and punctuality. They always ensure they enter the tutor base well-dressed. They are polite, considerate, and confident member of 9AA. He has had also had a successful start to his GCSE courses. A football enthusiast, this student was ever present, so was an ever-present member of the Academy's League and Cup winning side this year. I'm pleased to announce this year's Tutor of the Year for 9AA is Jordan Quilter. Before I welcome up 9, 9AA to the stage, I um, just want to say you've made a fantastic start to your GCSE studies. Uh, you're well on your way to reaching your potential, so I do hope you start year, year 10 as you finish year nine. Okay, well done all. First up, Tyrese Ashman. <laughs> Boji Alexander Bison. <laughs> Olivia Carval. <laughs> Georgia Drake. <laughs> Philby Graham Corintang. Nirul Joshi, Kieran Kershaw, James Leonard, Rachel McEwen, Faduma Muhammad, Jordan Quilter, Janaya Sargent, Elizabeth Shoesmith, Amal Srijif. Chloe Walker, Morgan Walker, Yasmin Wilkes, and Osman Youssef. I'm here to um, present 9AP. Um, first of all, the first in tutor group. This person is a willing and active member of 9AP who starts each day with a smile. They're always friendly and happy to help when asked. This person has been praised by their teachers this year for being a focused student who's shown commitment to their work. 
This person sees the tutor group as more than just a room at the start of the day, and they've involved themselves fully in all aspects of the tutor time program. As a result of this, she was the runner-up in the tutor group PXS competition, and more recently was the winner of the tutor group Spelling Bee. So the best in tutor group for 9AP is Leilu Chan Ellis. Well done. And for 9AP, I say congratulations for dealing with lots and lots of different tutees this year. You've done it with good grace, and I thank you for that. And I wish you all the best in year 10. Okay, so here's 9AP. Let's get the safe surname right. Heaven Adarabigbi. <laughs> Asan Ahmed. <laughs> Josiah Brewster. Travis Brown. <laughs> Leilu Chan Ellis. <laughs> Rhea Eckhart Gordon. <laughs> Joseph Keeley. <laughs> Crystal Marwing. Shane Dion Markland. Kelsey McGregor. <laughs> Mobilaji Otunuga. Vimal Pichkanan, <laughs> Benjamin Price, Trey Small, Holly Stanton, Harmony Awaga, and Maria Williams. Thank you, that was 9AP. Once again, what a fantastic year 9CB have had. It's been a pleasure to watch them grow as a group, always supporting and encouraging each other. Being able to see such a lovely set of students each morning always gives a positive start to the day and leaves a smile on our faces. The Tutor of the Year this year goes to a student who is kind, caring and willing. She's represented the, the group in a variety of... Well, she's represented the group in a variety of academic activities this year and is a real credit to the group. The 9CB Tutor of the Year goes to Theresa Macharia. Shri Ganesh Adkin Kumba. Alexander Akimbile. Hornapa Apandang. Emily Blondo Owis. Dio Bowis. Tiago Camacho, Jamal Denny, <laughs> Celeste Edwards, Kyra Aero, Rihanna Harianto, Phoebe Khalid, Cordelia Khan, Ali Korki, Musin Kumbe, Teresa Macharia, Adia May McKenna, Elliot Melanese. Travis Montague Chole, Saba Mukhtar, Jasmine Moray, Ikena Ofukansi, and Daniel Okbata. It has been my pleasure to have 9CK as a tutor group since November and I'm delighted to be staying with them as they go into year 10. The 9CK student of the year has excellent punctuality and attendance. The student arrives in tutor time with a big smile every morning and is always eager to help with any organization or administration that needs attending to. She frequently receives vivos for classwork, homework and attitude to learning and she has also represented the Academy in Athletics and the Communications Faculty on Sports Day. The 9CK Student of the Year is Ayana Antuni. Yeah. Daniela Ajay. Shanice Appleby. Kyle Bishop. Owen Boyce, Joseph Carter de Monchot, Clinton Christian, Harold Sickenus, 
Nick Chugum. Robert Gibson Williams. Jordan Hutchings. Fern Hutton. Nathan Lewis. Rodri Meredith. Morgan Mulholland Toy. Ayana Ntuni. Olivia Obo. Dequan Odukoya Brown. Kari Onuma. Rhea Thomas. And Leonie Williams. Okay, um, it's my pleasure to introduce 9SB today, or 2T of the year. This was very, very hard because you're all excellent, excellent 2Ts. But this year, the 2T of the year goes to someone who's been such a big help to me throughout the year, bringing my tutor back every morning. Excellent, excellent athlete, broken the, um, the discus record, both in year seven, eight and nine. <laughs> the duty of the year this year goes to Delhi LEDs. Next year. Okay. Delhi LEDs. Dylan Barton. Next year. Janaya Boyd. Connor Davis. Katie Davis, Faith Douglas Sargent, Alice Downer, James Hudson, Leah Hughes, Rami Kazakova, Callum Magikadumi O'Hara, Abby McDougall, Rachel Mead, Dylan Pierce, Amber Sardina, Kiana Simpson Plummer, Nicholas Stevenson, Francesca Vincente, Susanna Wicko NG, and Tyler Woods. Good evening. I'd just like to introduce 9SS and the best duty of the year. Um, this year goes to Emma Dunnin. Hannah Agnew, Zach Agnew, Monty Alcock, Gwendolyn Archer, Emile Abohu, Cameron Bourne, Nicola Bourne, Henry Cliff, Ronell David, Emma Dunnin, Hasnan Javid, Megan Potter, Leanne Panlau, Holly Reed. Cleonaka Renix Gordon, Saqib Sahel, Malikia Terrell Robinson, Alexandria Vasilu, Darren Wadha, and Jake Wood. This has been a very successful year for 9TB. And for the second year running, it has been a pleasure to be their form tutor. Choosing a tutee of the year for 9TB has been a difficult task as there have been many potential winners. My co-tutor, Mrs. McSween and I, have chosen a student who is very hardworking, conscientious and well organized. I always hear excellent things about her overall attitude and progress from her subject teachers. She is an avid reader during form time and has enjoyed taking part in the Duke of Edinburgh Awards this year. She is also keen to ask questions and challenge existing ideas. The 9TB Tutor of the Year Award goes to Ag Agata Soltysinska. <laughs> and if I can introduce you to the rest of 9TB, Aja Akon, Samia Akta, Talia Amors, Lawrence Banda, Samuel Bright, Devonte Darlington, Morgan Edwards, 
Kane Grant Evans, Moyenda Joseph, Asher Mason, Cameron Mukherjee, April Ockwell, Stephen Parmenter, Alexander Rakoto Miklas, Georgia Reed, Hamza Sheikh, Catherine Sluman, Agata Soltysinska, Lachizar Velikov, Beatrice Vina Miller, Maria Vina Miller, and Christy Yaxley. Okay, I'd just like to say before I do um, the Tutor of the Year, 9TP have been um, an excellent tutor group over the past three years. I am sad to say that I'm going to be leaving them at the end of this week to go on maternity leave, um, but I will be back, I've already worn them, at the end of year 10, they can't get rid of me that easily. I'm looking forward to seeing how well they do next year and in year 11. Um, the tutee of the year was quite difficult to choose. Um, the student that I've chosen is a quiet student who's always hard working and has overcome many obstacles throughout their three years at Harris. He is always polite and friendly and gets on well with everybody in the tutor group and beyond. My tutee of the year goes to Terry Davis. Well done, Terry. Okay, so now I'd like to introduce you to the rest of 9TP. Ruby Baines. Maya Bertie, William Bradshaw, Rio Davidson Phipps, Terry Davis, Ashley Francis, Damien Grad, Harrison Hart, Lewis Hayward Gibbs, Olivia Henderson Downing, Zach Holmes, Tamar Laban, Jennifer May, Panache Matsinzi, Lauren Norton, Nihad Rahman, Hamad Rai, Neelesh Randall, Scott Tiada, Chloe Wheeler, and Amna Zolfika. Presentation of Subject and Progress Awards presented by Mr. Biddiscombe and Dr. McCauley. Evening everyone. As has been mentioned a couple of times already this evening, uh, Year 9 has been the start of the GCSE courses for all of our Year 9 students and as we've heard they've all started really positively. What we're going to announce now are the students that have made the most progress in each of the subjects at the Academy in Year 9. These have all been nominated by their subject teachers. So I will read out the list of names that have won most progress. Uh, could I ask you to wait until the end and we can give them a big round of applause together. So most progress in Year 9 in media. Daniela Ajay, 9CK. In drama, Josiah Brewster, 9AP. In English, Alina Timms Bailey, 9CK. In PE, Asan Ahmed, 9AP. In art and design, Layla Chan Ellis, 9AP. In music, Maria Vina Miller, 9TB. In Mandarin, Dylan Barton, 9SP. In Spanish, Callum Magica Dummy O'Hara, 9SP. In French, Harold Sicanus, 9CK. Uh, in Geography, Sai Awusu Ose, 9AA. In History, Morgan Walker, 9AA. In RMP, Joseph Carter de Moncho, 9CK. In Citizenship, Savannah Kelly Smith, 9AA. In Maths, Sriganesh Ajit Kumar, 9CB. 
Science, Denzel Christian, 9SS. In Business Studies, Latch Velikov, 9TB. In Graphics, Jenny May, 9TP. In Textiles, Megan Potter, 9SS. In Food Technology, Maria Williams, 9AP. And in Resistant Materials, Kieran Kershaw, 9AA. Ladies and gentlemen, winners of the most in progress in year nine. Okay, so that was, they were students that made most progress in the subjects. The next list are students that were nominated as best overall student in each of the subjects for this year. Once more, there's a long list, so if I could read out all names, and then we will applaud them all at the end. So, best student in media, Olivia Carval, 9AA. Best student in drama, Amber Sardinia, 9SP. English, Rodri Meredith, 9CK. PE, Ryan Freeman, 9AP. Art and Design, Beatrice Vina Miller, 9TB. Music, Teresa Macharia, 9CB. Mandarin, Olivia Obo, 9CK. Spanish, Stephen Parmenta, 9TB. French, Abby McDougall, 9SP. Geography, Lauren Norton, 9TP. History, Agata Solzysinska, 9TB. RMP, Georgia Drake, 9AA. Citizenship, Emily Blundell Owers, 9CB. Maths, Alexander Miklas, 9TB. Science, Adia May Macheni, 9CB. Business Studies, Musin Kumbai, 9CB. Graphics, Frankie Vincente, 9SP. Textiles, Katie Davis, also 9SP. Food Technology, Travis Montague Chalet, 9CB. And Resistant Materials, Katie Sluman in 9TB. Ladies and gentlemen, best overall student in subjects this year. So now we come to the award for the most progress overall. This student is quiet yet determined. 
Overall, this student shows enthusiasm towards school life and all the challenges and opportunities that this academy provides and has worked continually to strive for improvement. This student has received so many positive comments all year and across all subjects that the printout of the log runs into numerous pages. They have forged great relationships with their peers and with staff. They're always polite and they're always helpful. And this student's grades have improved significantly this year, further demonstrating their perseverance and the hard work it actually takes to improve. This student is also a great role model, both for others and even for the staff, and will continue to be if the same work ethic is continued through into next academic year and beyond. A very, very hardworking student, highly motivated, always eager to learn new things. In fact, a truly delightful student who's a natural leader and already proving to be a valued member of the academy. So this year's award for the student who has made the most progress overall in year nine, 2012-13, is from 9AP, Holly Stanton. And you should have seen the look of surprise on her face there. And now, now the award for the best student overall. I like to keep you in suspense, that's what it's all about. The student who's being awarded the award for the best student overall is an outstanding student who is involved in literally all aspects of the academy life. Consistently working hard to produce fantastic pieces of work across all subjects and areas and is exemplary in every respect and seems to have a natural aptitude just for study. Their levels of achievement are exceptional and peers look up to this student for help with areas of difficulty and also to be challenged. All the learning opportunities given to this student are approached with incredible determination and positivity, which is a really brilliant example to other students. But the student actually works away fairly quietly, confidently, and also creatively, always looking for ways to improve and to develop their work. As a person, this student is kind, is caring, and is extremely polite. And although very shy, teachers recognize this student to be a source of leadership who is willing to take on a variety of roles. This year, this student has been involved in a number of both co-curricular and extracurricular opportunities, including things like the Duke of Edinburgh Award Scheme, producing a truly excellent PEXS project, and also recently helped, and I love this one because I was uh, very much watching it, Battle of the Brains team to success, beating all the other Federation Academy teams to ensure that Harris City Academy Crystal Palace won the overall competition and brought that trophy back here where it belongs. Now, their attendance and punctuality records are excellent. And I know you're trying to guess who it is. They're a perfect role model for their peers. This student is extremely likable and personable, who really deserves every success. So, the best student overall in year nine for 2012 to 13 is from 9CB. It's Tiago Camacho. So it just goes to show that all that incredible hard work, effort and determination certainly pays off. 
Now, I know how much you've actually all been looking forward to this evening, and of course, you've still got a very exciting future ahead of you as you move into year 10 and beyond. If you think about it, this time last year, you were poised to embark on your GCSE courses, but now, a full year on almost, you've actually completed a whole year of GCSE, and I'm sure you can't believe how quickly the time has flown since you started them. Year nine is nearly finished, and you need to ask yourself whether you have really made the best use of your time in year nine. Have you used every opportunity? Have you taken every, every opportunity that's been given you? Have you, been, have you taken advice, advantage of every piece of advice that people have given you as well? Because you cannot get that time back. Just to put time into perspective, this time next year, you will all be on work experience. You will have completed the second year of your GCSE courses. And when you think about most schools, GCSE is a two-year course. It started in year 10, not in year nine. So you have to ask yourself, at the end of year 10, would I be achieving the grade I should be? Will I be hitting or exceeding my target grade? You need to be honest with yourself because you see very regularly through the HARS what you're achieving. Are you really hitting or exceeding these targets? Because, you know, playing catch up is always much, much harder than if you're out ahead to start off with. So it's up to you. You've got to make that decision. The thing about it is, the harder you work, the more success that you experience, it's a little bit addictive. You want more and you want more because it's really good to be successful. It feels fabulous. And that's where I want everyone here to be. I am immensely proud, I really am, to be principal of this, of this academy. And to work along what I believe to be some of the most outstanding staff of any school in the country. And that's also why we're able to achieve the results we can and the phenomenal hard work and the hours that the staff put in and that the parents here and carers work with us to make sure that you take every opportunity. But I don't want you to be complacent. This is not the end, it's not even the middle. In a way, it's the beginning because every single day you need to start afresh and work as hard as you possibly can. And I know that by doing so, you can receive truly outstanding results. So, together with the support of your parents, I know that we're gonna have many more occasions where we can celebrate your success. And I wish you every success as you move into the next stage of your career here at the Academy. Thank you very much.